If you're looking to spruce up your tree this season, but you're not sure how, try using some of these. No, really. Here's Atlantic Beach artist Tiffany Melanson to show us how. <laughs> the materials that you'll need for this project include toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, either or a combination of both because they're the same diameter. So um, once you cut them up, you won't be able to tell one way or the other what they are. You'll need paper clips. Any size will do. There's no restriction, just any paper clip you happen to have around. You will need some form of school glue, white glue or craft glue or a glue stick. Um, an alternative to that, if you don't have it or don't have it on hand, is to use a stapler. The other thing you'll need when you're done is spray paint because that's pretty much the piece of this that transforms it from being a toilet paper roll <laughs> to something special. You start out with your toilet paper roll and you basically flatten it in half. So you take it from being a round cylinder to being a flat object. So, And then you take the roll and you cut it in half. Now if you're a precision person, you can fold it, find your center, unfold it, and then cut where you see the ridge. Or you can eyeball it like I do. And then you cut that half into thirds. So you'll end up with six almost equal pieces. Now out of the paper towel roll, you can probably get more like 15. And then you end up with this single little hollow leaf structure. And this is the building block of the final piece, whether it be the ornament or the sculptural piece. This is the thing that um, basically makes up all the shapes that you're creating. Um, once you have the individual leaf pieces cut, then the process of assembling them starts. The more often that you can have multiple pieces glued to each other, the better, as opposed to just one piece to one piece. If you can have two pieces glued together and then glued to a third piece, it's going to make it a little bit stronger. And you can assemble them in two different ways. You can either do it with glue, and if you use glue as your assembly process, then you'll also need to have the paper clips in order to hold the pieces together while the glue is setting. Clamp them together. And so that's the start of your sculptural structure. So you're going to be putting the pieces, the individual petal pieces together in really an, kind of an organic way. There's no specific way to do it. You just glue pieces together until you get a shape and a feeling that you, you can like. have it underneath and go in that direction. Another choice, if you are the kind of person who wants to be in a hurry, you don't have to use the glue. You can use staples, and then you want to push it as far back as it'll go, and staple. Now, if you want to keep it in its natural state and you don't plan on painting it, then I would suggest going with the glue technique. If you're going to be spray painting it anyway and covering it with an overall color or with multiple colors, then you'll be able to cover up the staples and it won't be as, as visually disturbing when you look at it. If you're not as concerned about it being tight and precise, then the stapled together version is a little bit looser. It's got a larger center. Um, once you have glued your pieces together and paper clipped them and clamped them into place, you have to leave it to set for anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, just because you want to make absolute sure that the pieces are adhering to each other before you move on to the process of actually painting them. Um, once the piece is together in the configuration that you want, you can take it and put it out outside in a well-ventilated space to paint it. Regular indoor spray paint will work. Here's the key, fast drying. So we're using this fast drying indoor and outdoor. Make sure it's good for indoors. Shake it up. Once again, just take short passes. Start out by getting as much of it as you can on one side, letting it dry, then flipping it over and getting it from the other side. Don't overdo it. Just get a nice light spray and do it in short bursts. And go around it. There are so many cracks crevices you want to make sure you get from all angles and then you just let it sit and dry now if you want to take one of your little floral pieces and make it into an ornament 
all you have to do is take this top part and smush one of the leaves all the way together flat and get your hole punch and slip it over the top punch here's one that has been punched and painted so this would be the final product that you actually string you want to put it through each hole suspend it and just tie a little knot in the top there you go there's your ornament yeah very easy the reason I like it is because I just love the idea that people look at it and they have absolutely no idea what it is. They can't come up immediately with what it was when it started. They can't figure out um, how I was able to create something from something so mundane. And so just kind of sparking people's creativity and getting them to think about things in a different way, that's the reason I love the project. And I'm going to be building smaller sculptures and offshoots of it spray painting them and slowly adding them to the smaller piece. I love a project that costs you nothing, creates no waste, and in some cases eliminates waste that would have happened in the first place. And in the end you have something beautiful and interesting and most people can't tell what you've made this project out of until you tell them. And that's the cool thing about it. Thanks Tiffany. That looks much better than this. For more weekend design, continue to check Jacksonville.com. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.